Bora, Zu. Welcome to today's video. It's going to be the first um, vlog of the year. So basically, I just thought I'd do a quick vlog saying hello, wishing you a happy new year. Hello to all my new subscribers. And uh, just give you an idea of what I'm kind of planning to do this year um, with YouTube. I also thought it'd be a great opportunity, whilst I've spent 20 minutes recording this, to restring this guitar because I really need to restring it. So that's what I'm going to be doing as I talk. So if I seem a bit distracted, that's why. So first things first, I'm just loosening off all my strings and then I'm going to chop them all and I'm going to take them all off and I'm going to give it a little quick clean with a tiny bit of water and that's it really. I do have some uh, guitar oil which I got for Christmas which I don't usually use so I might try and use that as well. Anyway, I digress. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to give you a little chat about what my plans for this year and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So first things first, you know, just like to say really Thank you for everyone who subscribed this year. I am very nearly at 1,500 subscribers as I record this video, um, which is amazing. I started the year, last year, 2017, with somewhere around um, 400 subscribers. So I've gone up by somewhere around 1,000 subscribers in a year, which is very, very, very exciting. And if you kind of look at the percentage-wise, it's a huge increase. It's about a 250% increase in subscribers. So I really appreciate anyone who subscribed, but also all those really nice people who've said really nice things and written me nice comments. Also people who've you know, suggested songs, because I have a big list, uh, which I post quite regularly, I'm trying to post quite regularly, one of my aims this year, on my Facebook page. So if you wanna, uh, there's a link to my Facebook page down below. If you wanna like the page, on there, I'll try and every week or two get up my list, my to-do list, and I might even put on a, a list of my planned recordings. I might start doing that, try and be a bit organised. But uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm digressing a bit already, but I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who started to subscribe and all the people who've been with me for even longer, the last couple of years of doing these videos. I really appreciate it. It's really exciting to be in the four figures, and hopefully this year we can push on and get towards five figures, which would be really cool. So that's my first little bit of business whilst I just poke myself with the end of a string, it really hurt. Right, just winding off the strings at this end. I've clipped them, taken them out to that end. So now I'm just uh, winding them off this end before I give the guitar a little quick clean. My second point of business really is my aims for this year. So basically, my main aim for this year is to just be a bit more kind of organized with my recording. And also involved in that is also going to be being a bit more professional in terms of how my videos look. Because I've had a look at a few other people's videos. And you know, I think in terms of the lessons, I think my lessons are fine. I think they're good. You know, don't like to say too many nice things about myself because I'm British. But uh, I think they're solid lessons, you know, it is what I do for a living, so you'd hope they would be. But the trouble I think is that just the video quality isn't that good. As so you can see here, I'm basically in my, this is the room I'm teaching at home. Um, the lighting's terrible. I've only got one camera and the sound isn't that great because I don't have proper sound. So my plan this year um, is basically to <clears throat> be a bit more organized with getting videos up and also to throughout the year supply some extra equipment so that I can um, eventually get better looking higher production quality videos. That's what I'm aiming for, better looking, higher production quality videos. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Basically, my plan's gonna to be to, I'm gonna to aim to get up about eight videos a month. Last year, I was about five or six on average. Some months a bit less, some months a bit better, but mostly around that five to six. So my aim is gonna be eight videos. I reckon probably 50% of them will be Oasis or, um, uh, Noel Gallagher or Liam Gallagher because they're two new albums they brought out this uh, last year. I liked both of those albums quite a lot, so I'm going to obviously try and um, do some songs from those albums. I've only done a couple of Liam songs so far, but the plan is to do a few more. I'm just going to grab my um, J cloth and uh, begin to just uh, tiniest amount of water, and I'm just going to basically clean not the <laughs> not the metal bits or the electric bits, but just the wooden bits because this is a really old guitar and it's really disgusting. <coughs> so I'm gonna try and give it a bit of a clean. So that's basically my, my aim and, and that. And, and as I say, my plan will be to hopefully, um, during the year, be able to get enough money together so that I can buy. I think per first thing will probably be some, some lights, so I can get much better lighting. 
Uh, the second thing will probably be some mics. So my plan will be to get myself a mic and then a mic up for my amp and then I'll be able to do separate audio stuff. So I'll be able to improve the audio quality, which I really would love to do. And then, and then the third thing will probably be a new uh, a second camera. Um, I've thought about doing it with my phone, but I just didn't like the quality, especially with not particularly good lighting. Um, this camera copes a bit better with bad lighting. My iPhone does not. I've only got an SE, so you know it's not not the 10 or whatever. I used to work in mobile phones, so uh, I'm used to uh, having the top end one, but at the moment it cost is more important. So that's basically my, my aim with my videos. So more consistently getting them out um, and also trying to get new equipment um, <clears throat> to, to, to get better quality, higher production level videos. And that's why I'm going to talk about point number three in a sec. So as I just give a tiny quick clean to this, this fretboard is disgusting by the way, I won't show it to you because it's embarrassing how horrible it is. Um, so basically what I'll say, I'll just go through my third point which is basically I am going to set up, well I've already begun the process of doing it, by the time this video is out I will try and have it up but if I don't it will be out imminently and basically it's a Patreon, I'm going to try and set up a Patreon. Um, and it's basically just an opportunity for guys and girls to um, help me out with a little uh, little bit of extra cash. You know, it's literally just because I really want to get some new equipment um, to make the videos look better. I mean, that's the main reason I'm doing it. No other reason, really. Um, and it's just hard for me to justify that expense as a self-employed person because obviously the YouTube stuff doesn't make me any money at all and I do it because it's fun number one and because people seem to enjoy it and I like the kudos of that or oh, we're getting somewhere now um, so that's why I do it so that's why I'm going to do a patreon basically as I say with the idea of using the money to get better equipment and hopefully be able to really improve the quality of videos so as I said hopefully it'll be up by now um, in fact, I will. I'll, it'll definitely be up an hour, there, so I'll, and I'll slowly but surely add more information to it. As I usually say with these things, I did the same when I did my Movember sponsorship. Um, you know, I don't expect anything from anyone, but it's just there if anyone is willing to and able to just drop me a dollar or two. I will also have, um, I'm going to make it also a way that people can, if they want to, um, get in contact with me for private lessons and stuff like that as well because I'm happy and willing and able to do Skype lessons with people as well if that's something you're interested in. So that will be part of, of uh, I'll put a little information on my Patreon page about that as well. But it's more going to be about if people are willing and able to give me just those really small donations so that I can save up and hopefully get some, oh this is really disgusting this fretboard, hopefully get some better equipment to improve the quality of my videos because I think that's, as I said, that's really, that's really going to be the big aim along with getting a little bit more consistent with doing them, getting much higher quality and better looking videos out there is really something I want to do this year. Right, we're getting there with this, oh my goodness, we're, I thought by the time I finished this video I'll be able to have the strings on and just show it to you but I might have to stop recording in a sec and then it will be flick to me doing it because this <laughs> fretboard's so disgusting it's taken me ages to clean. But anyway, so those are the three things I wanted to talk about. So basically, the, to recap, in conclusion, thanks for everyone who subscribed. I really do appreciate it. I really enjoy doing these videos. I enjoy learning the songs. You know, it takes a bit of time and effort for me because most of these songs aren't songs I teach regularly. Um, some are, and some end up being songs I teach regularly as well. Uh, for what it's worth, my Liam Gallagher's one I've taught a few times, which, uh, which I've really enjoyed learning. Really cool track as well. If you haven't learned that, check that track out. It's a great track. It's probably my favourite of his albums at the moment, but um, anyway, yeah, and secondly, just to say, my aim is to basically be a bit more professional, and on a sub note, if anyone wants to um, ask for any particular songs, go to the, sorry, I'm just getting to the water, um, if anyone wants to get any more, um, any, recommend any songs, ask for me to do any songs, go onto my Facebook, and on there I will try, as I say, try and do it every week, but probably more likely every other week, I'll just put a little list, a to-do list up there and uh, you'll be able to see what's on there and if something's on there that 
I, if you want something that isn't on there, then you can um, ask me for that. And then also, if there is something on there you really want me to do, just put in the comment on that. Um, but that's the way, that's the easiest way for me to do it. Obviously, if there is a song you want, you can go, uh, you can just put it in the comments right here or any YouTube video. I don't have that many comments that I don't see them all and read them all. Um, so feel free to do that as well, but obviously um, it might already be on my comment section as well. But if you want to see the list, head to Facebook. I'm really mumbling now because I'm really desperately trying to get this clean. <laughs> and then my third thing is I'm going to start up a Patreon. So by the time this video is up, I'm going to have a Patreon up. And as I said, I'm probably going to be adding to it as I go because I've only just started looking into doing it and, and getting it sorted. With, and the aim of that Patreon will be to basically just give me a giveaway for people who are willing and able to help me out a bit to do so, um, so that I can, as I said, move forwards and hopefully get some better equipment. As I say, first thing for me will be lighting, then probably um, better sound. It's just cost-wise, it's basically the cheapest, then the next cheapest, then the next cheapest, and the third thing will be a, um, a better video. I'll probably have to get some new software, because I'm very lazy with my video editing at the moment. Um, but that's basically, that's the game plan. These are the strings I'm going to use. Oof. Never use these Elixir, I always use Elixir strings. The best ones are the NanoWeb ones, which have the um, really, th you know, thicker coating on them. Is it NanoWeb? No, PolyWeb. Polyweb have the thickest coatings, and those are the best strings that last the best that I find, but they're really hard to buy. So NanoWeb is the ones you normally get, and they're not quite as good, but they do play nicely. I do like them. And these ones are called OptiWeb, so I'm going to try these on this guitar, my second guitar, my spare one, and just see if they're any good, basically. So that's what I'm using there. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know how they go. But uh, yeah, we'll have a little stop here whilst I actually finish cleaning this thing off. And then I'll show you the finished article go a little bit and then I'm gonna to head to the gym so I'll speak to you guys soon okay well finally got it clean you can't see how clean it is because you know the lighting's terrible and the camera's not that great well maybe you can I don't know but oh that is much better it took me absolutely ages but now oh, but, oh my goodness but now it's time to restring it the joys of restringing so next thing you'll see will be hopefully a restrung guitar okay so done Slow it down, see if you can know. Uh, see if you can see you playing. Ugh. All restrung, retuned. play guitar anyway so yeah thanks for watching um, hopefully you enjoyed uh, a video on my plans for this year and also how to restring a guitar um, and I'll see you guys again soon probably for Oasis let's face it but maybe not who knows but I'll see you guys again soon bye bye